Hey guys, welcome back to A Level Lessons. Alright, this is going to be um, a new part on drawing diagram scale for your macroeconomics when there is an increase in your um, AD right, and a decrease in your AS. Alright, so this is a very classic example. Uh, so we're going to be looking at what happens in the case of a macro diagram. It's actually very, very similar to micro. So first one, first of all, you want to label your diagrams. You have got GPL, which is your y-axis, and your real GDP, which is your x-axis, right? Similar to your price and your quantity, respectively. So first of all, label your curves. You've got AD1, which is the downward sloping curve, and AS1, which is the uh, kind of like the curve that goes towards the uh, goes outwards. After which, plot the equilibrium uh, quantity and, and price. So in this case, you have Y1, which is the uh, real GDP, the original real GDP and your P1, which is the original GPL. Right, so this would be the two points that you want to plot first. All right, then we will start with an increase in AD. So when increased in AD, okay, you want to shift the curve to the right. So you have got AD2, uh, which shifts rightwards. Okay, and a four in AS, okay, depending on which AS, okay, if it's short run AS or long run AS, uh, over here we're assuming it's the short run. Okay, your curve will basically move uh, upwards. Okay, so move upwards, or some of you may see it as leftwards as well. Um, this would be your AS2. Alright, so you can go ahead and draw your arrows, okay, where, where your curves have moved. So AD will move upward, out, outwards, AS will move upwards or leftwards uh, when there's a decrease. Okay, and now you want to identify, okay, we, which are the two new curves and find the um, intersection point. So AD2, AS2, the intersection point is over here, the new curve intersects here. So this will be our new real GDP, right, you can draw the line down. You have got Y2. And on the other hand, you have got a new price level, which is going to be uh, P2 over here. All right, so similarly, okay, um, you have to identify which one is certain and which one is uncertain. So we would I'd look at the cases now, right? Um, definitely P2 would actually, uh, your price of GPL, okay, will actually rise. Okay, and your real GDP will be the one that's uncertain. All right, so we'll look at the cases below. Uh, so you can draw the arrow for P2 and maybe question mark for your... Uh, real GDP, okay, because it really depends on the extent of change, once again. So, um, for this kind of a question, okay, if you look at an increase in your AD, per se, what actually happens is that when there's increase in AD, there will be an increase in your real GDP and an increase in your um, general price level, GPL. Uh, and likewise, okay, if there is a uh, fall in AS, Okay, this is basically similar to your demand supply. Okay, uh, uh, a fall in AS. Uh, sorry, I wrote it wrong over here. So a fall in AS, what happens is that you would actually have a uh, decrease in real GDP, right, and a increase in your general price level. All right, so from this, you know that it is going to be certain, okay, that your general price level will increase. So your conclusion is that um, general GPL okay, will actually increase and your real GDP will be uncertain. Okay, so the new equilibrium, uh, don't use price and quantity here, okay, because we're using macroeconomics terms. So the new real GDP is going to be uncertain, all right? And this would later depend on the extent of change. And your new equilibrium uh, GPL will actually increase. Okay, since for both cases, both isolated cases, they'll increase. So the uncertain one, likewise, okay, it depends on the extent of change in your AD and AS. Okay, so you have to look at the underlying factors of what has actually impacted AD and AS respectively to determine um, if the shift is um, of a greater proportion for which of the two curves. So that will be how you actually um, do this question on your AD AS. Okay, quite a simple one. Uh, on an increase in AD and a fall in AS. So this will be the first of the macro series on how to draw a macro. Uh, I'll be going through the rest of the simultaneous curves very, very soon. So stay tuned and leave a like on this video as well. See you guys then. Bye-bye.